Hi children, today you are going to learn 9th class, 10th chapter that is surface areas and volumes. Already we have learned all the formulas of this chapter. Here, I will tell you in the exercise 10.1, what are the formulas or helpers. Here, these are the formulas based on cube. It is a cube. A cube will have all the sides are equal in the length. So, the lateral surface area of a cube is 4a square. Total surface area of a cube is 6a square. The volume of cube is a cube. Where a is known as side of the cube. Let us go for a cuboid. Cuboid will be made up with a rectangle structure. So, it will be having length, breadth, height, height. So, here the lateral surface area of a cuboid 2h of L plus B. The total surface area of a cuboid is 2 of Lb plus Bh plus Hh. The value of cuboid is L into B into H, Lbh. And these are also the main basic formulas which help us throughout this chapter. Remember the lateral surface area. To find out the lateral surface area of any solid figure, the formula is perimeter of the base into height. The total surface area formula here. Lateral surface area plus area of end surface areas. The value formula is area of the base into height. So, mainly you need to remember the value formula that is area of the base into height. So, here we have some of the questions we need to solve. Let us go for the exercise problems and we will solve the, all the 8 problems from the exercise. And see that the first question. Find the lateral surface area and total surface area of the following right prisms. Right prisms in the sense, what here? The base as a regular polygons and the remaining lateral surface areas are the parallelograms or rectangles are known as a right prisms. As here, we can see a cube and cuboid. The cube and cuboid can be considered as a right prisms because the bases of top and bottom are regular polygons and the remaining lateral surface areas will be a rectangles or not it is considered as a parallelogram. So here in a cube there will be squares but all squares can be considered as a parallelogram. So a cube is a right prism, a cuboid also we can consider as a right prism. So remember and here the first question is given. a cube of 4 cm 4 cm and 4 cm. First we first one. So what we need to find out lateral surface area and total surface area of this cube. So let us go for first lateral surface area of a cube. What is the formula of lateral surface area cube formula? That is 4 a square. 4 a square. Here 4 into a square value, that is a is nothing but here 4 centimeter. a is nothing but a 4 centimeter. So here 4 centimeter whole square because as here a square is there, so we can write 4 square. So 4 into 4 square value that is 16 centimeter square. 64 is a 64 centimeter square. It is a lateral surface area of a cube. Then the total surface area of a cube that is 6 a square. 6 into where a square value already we got it like a 4 centimeter square. 6 into here 16 centimeter square where 4 square value is known as a 16. So 6 16 the or 16 6 the 96 centimeter square. Now this is the lateral surface area and total surface area of a cube. Now we go for the next one. In the next one, we can find a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism, nothing but a cuboid. Let's go for a cuboid. Here, cuboid will be made up with a rectangles. If you keep a rectangle one on other continuously. We get a cuboids. And this is a cuboid. As you know, it will be having length, breadth, and height. 
so we know that 8 cm 6 cm and 5 cm length is 8 cm 6 cm breadth height is 5 cm let us find out the lateral surface area the lateral surface area is 2 into h of l plus b well 2 into L h value is 5 cm L plus B 8 cm plus 6 cm 8 cm plus 6 cm We need to substitute the values very carefully 2 5 are 10 10 cm And here 8 plus 6 is 14 cm So here half is nothing but 8 So 14 tens are 1 part Centimeter square and this is the lateral surface area of a cuboid. Then the total surface area equal to 2 of LB plus BH plus HL. So 2 into LB 8 centimeter into 6 centimeter. 8 centimeter into 6 centimeter plus 6 centimeter into 5 centimeter BH. 6 cm into 5 cm plus HL 5 cm into 8 cm. Two into 8 6 is 48 cm square plus 6 5 is 30 cm square plus 5 is 40 cm into cm cm square. Let us add this all. 2 into of 30 plus 40 is 70, 70 plus 48 that is 180 centimeter square. So here 118 centimeter square will get 236 centimeter square and this is called the total surface area of the cube. So first bit problems we have solved you can see on the board. Now we go for the second question. The second question is that please concentrate that the total surface area of a cube, the total surface area of a cube is given 1350 square meters. Find the value. We need to find out the volume of the cube when the total surface area of the cube is given. Total surface area of the cube is chadu, value to find out. Chadu. So man already this. Total surface area of the cube. Total surface area of the cube. That is 1350 square meters or meter square. Square meters are meter square. So the value point is there. First of all, we know that it is a cube. When we can find out the volume of cube. The value of Q formula is A Q. And the first one is A value. We should know the value of A. Value of A is already the total surface area of the Q formula. The total surface area of the Q formula is 6A square. That is equal to 1350 meters square. Total surface area of the Q is 6A square. Let us transform this 6 to the RHS side. So here, a square equal to 1350 meter square by 6. Yes, sir. Here 6 is multiplied. This 6 will divide 6. 6 1 the 6 2 the 12. 1 left. It become a 15. 6 2 the 12 again. 3 left. It become a 30. Okay. 6 5 is a 30. So where A square will equal to 225 meter square. When square root transfer the other side, it becomes a square root. When square root transfer, the square root transfer becomes a square root of 225 meters square. Where we know that square root of 225 equal to 50. The value of square root of 225 equal to 50. So A equal to that is 15 meters. Now we got A value as a 15 meters. Now we can find out the value. Yes, sir. Let us find out. The value of the cube that equal to a cube, where a value we know that is 
50 meters. So, a cube in the sense, what is the meaning of a cube? a into a into a. a should multiply three times. That is called a cube. So, a into a into a. So, here, 15 meters into, 15 meters into, 15 meters. That is, 3,375 meters cube. 3,375 meters cube. This is the volume of the cube. So, please go through this solution and take a screenshot. Now, we go for question number 3. The question number 3 here. See, here we need to be understand what formula we have to use. A formula you challenge at the end of the question. The volume of cuboid. Sorry. Find the area of four walls of a room. Area of a four walls of a room. The room will be in the cuboid in the shape. Yes, in the rectangular shape. So, area of four walls we need to find out. The area of four walls will give us the lateral surface area. Assume that there is no windows and doors as a given. Assume that there are no doors and windows. It is the length is 12 meters. Length equal to given 12 meters. Okay, let me write this side. As you can see some shade here, that's a lighting. Length is 12 meters. As breadth is given 10 meters. And height H is given 7.5 meters. Area of the four walls. The area of four walls of a room. Area of four walls of a room. Equal to what formula should you use? Lateral surface area of a cubic. 2 H of L plus B. So here 2 into H value 7.5 meters into L plus B. 12 meters plus 10 meters. 12 plus 10 meters. So there will be equal to. 2 into 7.5, 7.5 into 7.5, 7.5 plus 7.5 that is 15. So it comes to 15 meters into this is multiple add is both 10 plus 12, 12 plus 10 is 22 meters. Then meters into meters we get meters square, 52 is a 30, 3 carry 52 is a 30 plus 3, 330 meters square, 330 meter square. So this way. Now we have a one more question that goes to the fourth question here is the fourth solution. See, fourth solution is also very easy. The volume of a cuboid is 1200 centimeter cube. Volume is given. The volume of cuboid is given. The volume of volume of cuboid is equal to 1200 centimeter cube yes and what are the information he gave again length is 15 meters and the breadth is 10 centimeters okay 15 centimeters length is 15 centimeters given and breadth is given as a 10 centimeters so again what we require we need to find out height height is not given that is what we need to find find the heights very simple See that the volume of cuboid is given 1200 centimeter cube. What is the volume of the cuboid formula? L into B into H. Yes. L into B into H. L B H is the volume of the cuboid. That equal to what? 1200 centimeter cube. Where L value and B value are already given. Let us substitute here. 15 centimeter into 10 centimeter into h equal to 1200 centimeter cube. This 15 centimeter, 10 centimeter will transfer to the other side. Those numbers are multiplied to h. If you transport to the other side of the equation, there will be division. So ultimately, h equal to begin 1200 centimeter cube by 15 centimeter into 10 centimeter. Here 2 centimeters I cancel. Here there are 3 centimeters. I'll cancel to 1 is left. Now here 1 0, here 1 0 get cancelled. 15 1s are 15 8s are. H equal to 8 centimeters. 
therefore the height of qy is equal to 8 centimeters so just look at these answers and take a screenshot now let us go for fifth question fifth question solution so what is the fifth question let us see once how does the total surface area of a box is change if each dimension is doubled and each dimension is tripled okay suppose let us consider here the box in the cube shape or cuboid shape maximum boxes are in the cube shape and there are many boxes are in the shape of cuboid also so here we get it out either we should take a cube or cuboid you take anything that means you change the dimensions of a cube double and find out the total surface area or not you take a cuboid and take each dimension as a double and find out the total surface area of a that the answer you get in the same that means the changes in the total surface area we get the same Okay, suppose you take a cube shape of a box and the length, breadth, height of a cube shape of box you make it double and find out the total surface area. Now you need to observe the original surface area and after the dimension doubled what are the total surface area. And you do the same thing in the cube art also. The result comes when you double the total uh, original area and when you double the original dimensions the original dimensions when you double it or triple it the total surface area whatever comes it will be in the same so I am going to take it here cuboid suppose let us take the box in the shape of a cuboid if the box in the shape of a cuboid let us take box in the shape of a cube y. You can take here cube also, no problem. So, if the box in the shape of a cube y, the first thing what we need to check, let us check. Each dimension is doubled. If each dimension is doubled, what happens? See. If each dimension you want to make it as a double, first of all, what are the original dimensions? The original dimensions dimension the original dimension length suppose the length of the cuboid box is l units and breadth the breadth of the cuboid box is b units and the height is h units okay suppose it is a cuboid box the length breadth height L B H okay length breadth height then when each dimension okay first one each dimension each dimension if it is double if each dimension if each dimension is double what happens? If each dimension is double, what I can see? Now let us make it here length is equal to 2L, breadth equal to 2B, height is equal to 2H. And length, breadth, height we two times chase up because each dimension we made it double. Now we need to find out the total surface area. Total surface area of a cuboid. Actually, the total surface area of the cuboid is total, na? The total surface area of the cuboid. Total surface area of a cuboid. Here, original cuboid. That will be two into L B plus B H plus H. LB plus BH plus H. That is the original total surface area of the cuboid. 
Now, when each dimension, if you make it double, what happens to the total surface area? Let us see. 2 of here, LB plus VH plus HL. Okay, let us take okay. LB plus BH plus H. Where L value is here, 2L, 2B, 2H. In the place of L, we have to substitute 2L. In the place of B, we have to substitute 2B. In the place of H, we have to substitute 2H. Like that. 2 into 2L into 2B. Yes. 2 into 2L plus 2. Here, 2B plus 2H plus 2H plus 2L. Yes. In the place of L, 2L. In the place of B, 2B. In the place of H, 2H. Then, see that it becomes 2 to the 4, 4LB plus 4BH plus 4H. This 4 will take it out and this 2 will keep it inside. What happened? 4 we are taking common factor out. This 4 you bring it out. This 2 will write this side. 2 of, we write what will be left here? The 2 will write here. And the 4 we are taking out completely. So what happens see? The 4 I have taken a common. This 2 I am keeping as it is. And here LB, BH plus HL. Now when you observe here, 2 of LB plus BH plus HL is equal to, it will give us 4 into, 4 into, here 2 of, what is left here? LB plus BH plus HL. I am not sure that either we can see this or not. So I am writing here once again. So this is nothing but 4 into this is a total surface area of original cube. 4 into total surface area of original cube. So when each dimension is double, the total surface area is 2 square times, 2 square will give us 4. So 2 square into total surface area of a original cube. And each dimension will double this thing. Total surface area of 2 square times of Yes. Now when each dimension is double, if each dimension is triple triple at a three times chain. L plus L is 3 L. Okay. Here length become 3 L. The breadth become 3 B. The height became the height of the cuboid become 3 H. The total surface area of a cuboid is equal. The total surface area of a cuboid equal to now 2 of LB plus BH plus HL. But what we need to do it here? 2 into in the place of L that is 3L. In the place of B that is 3B plus 3B plus 3H plus 3H plus 3L. So here 2 into 3 3 is a 9. 9LB plus 9BH plus 9HL. When you take out this 9 outside, so what will be 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. So this will give us again total surface area of the original cube. So this is 9 I will write as a 3 square into, or not 9 you write as it is. 9 into total surface area of a original Q by where it is 3 square into total surface area of a original Q by original Q by. So what happens when each dimension is triple? I three times this thing. Each dimension is three times this thing. Total surface area three square times. So now. 
if each dimension is n times the total dimension of a cuboid the total surface area of a cuboid will be increases n square number of times ante each dimension ni n times increase chesam if two times increase chesthe adi two square times ayindi three times increase chesthe three square times ayindi ipudu n times increase chesam if each dimension each dimension is n times then the total surface area of a original cuboid is increases increases n square number of times n square number of times hoti each dimension in the n times jeste total surface area n square number of times hoti chala easy hoti so when each dimension is double we have to take 2l 2b 2h in some place are l b h then do it it will be a 2 square number of times when each dimension is a triple it become a 3 square times of a total surface area of a original cuboid when each dimension is a n times it will be increases n square number of times why did i do this because he asked here he express in words can you find the total surface area of a box if each dimension is raised n times each dimension is n times aithe total surface area em avutadu oka box ade ante sir so adey avutadi n square number of times avutadu nana okay let copy this and we go for the next one now we go for question number 6 here we can see the question number 6 based on the prism question number 7 based on pyramid actually prism in the sense what the top and bottom they should have same shape and the remaining sides the remaining faces should be either in the rectangular shape or should be in the parallelogram shape they are called prisms top bottom same undali remaining faces anni rectangle leda parallelogram shape lo undali vaatini prisms antam ikkada chuste manaku ikkada oka triangle ikkada oka triangle with the 3 cm 4 cm 5 cm 3 cm 4 cm 5 cm nothing but a right angle triangle so what happens this top and bottom when you draw this diagram vertically you can feel the top and bottom having same faces and the remaining surface areas will be in the parallelogram or rectangular shapes you can see every rectangle will be considered as a parallelogram you know it so like that so what we need to do this as he given the dimensions of a triangle is given the base of this prism in the triangular shape the base of this prism is a triangular prism so the base of this prism in the triangular shape the height of this prism is 10 cm so we need to find out the volume of the prism let me read the question now the base of the prism is triangular in shape with the side of 3 cm 4 cm 5 cm find the volume of the prism if it is height is 10 cm so let us find out the volume of the prism to find out the volume of the prism what is the formula i told you in the beginning area of the base into height we need area of the base so what here area of the base into height okay area of the base into height that is the formula so let me go for first is what is the base shape the base in the shape of a triangle here so we need a area of triangle first area of a triangle why because here triangle is nothing but a base here nothing but a area of base we are finding so what is the formula of area of triangle 1 by 2 into base into height 1 by 2 into base into height here 1 by 2 into the base is you can take as a 4 cm height of this triangle is 3 cm as it is a right angle triangle we can take this okay 2 ones are 2 twos are that is equal to 2 three is a 6 cm square it is a 6 cm square the base of this triangle and height already given height of this prism okay height of the prism is 10 cm already given now the volume of 
the volume of prism the volume of prism equal to area of the base area of the base into height area of the base into height the base in the shape of a triangle the area of triangle formula is 6 1 by 2 into base into height and the area of the base is 6 cm square and the height is given already 10 cm 6 tens are 60 centimeter square into centimeter that is centimeter cube so the area of the prism is 60 centimeter cube yes base is also we have the seventh one let me go for the seventh solution the seventh one it's based on pyramid actually. What is the volume of pyramid? The volume of pyramid is 1 by 2 into area of the base into height. It's the volume of pyramid actually. So pyramids are different types. If the base of the pyramid is in a triangular shape, it's called triangular pyramid. If base of the pyramid, if it is a square shape, it's called square pyramid. If the base of the pyramid is a rectangular shape, it is called rectangular pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, octagonal pyramid, decagonal pyramid. It is based on the base, we can say the name of the pyramid. Yes sir. So let us go for that. We go for the seventh question. A regular square pyramid. He said that a regular square pyramid. There is a one square pyramid. So this is a square pyramid, a regular square pyramid, okay. uh, pyramid of 3 meters height, the height of the pyramid, height equal to 3 meters, the height of the pyramid is given 3 meters and the perimeter of the base is 16 meters, the perimeter of the base is given, the perimeter of the base is 16 meters. The perimeter of the base, the base the shape of nothing but a square equal to 16 meters. Yes, the perimeter of the base is the area of the base. So, perimeter which area and rubber area is the height of the area of the base into height 1 by 3 allowed. So, even then, we the formula in the a formula covers not in values on the ground. I choose call. If you want to get a perimeter of the base, it's a perimeter of the base into height. Jet perimeter of the base into height. Jet then you can also because of the lateral surface. Perimeter of the base into height that is lateral surface. Area of the base into height value. So, what you put the area of height. Perimeter of the base nothing but a square equal to 16 meters. What is the perimeter of the square formula? 4 into side that equal to 16 meters. This 4 in transfer, side equal to 16 meters by 4. 4 ones are 4 fours. Side equal to 4 meters. That means each side is 4 meters of this square. This square of each side is 4 meters. Add the perimeter of those 16 meters. Balance it. So the base is having side of 4 meters. Then area of the base. Area of the base, nothing but square. Area of the base, nothing but area square formula, side into side, that equal to 4 meters into 4 meters, that is 4 for the 16 meters square. Area of the base, we get. however, height is given in the question. The value of pyramid, the, the value of square pyramid. Equal 1 by 3 into area of base into height. 1 by 3 into area of the base into 16 meters square into height. What the height of the pyramid? That is 3 meters. Meter meter get cancelled. Here only 16 is there. 16. Okay, 3 3 get cancelled here. Meter square into meter, meter. Cube. That is 16 meter cube. 16 meter cube is the volume of the square pyramid. The volume of square pyramid. Copy this. Now, 
we go for the last question of this exercise that is question number 8 the question number 8 is that an olympic swimming pool in the shape of a cuboid olympic lo swimming competitions untai aa swimming pool yokka dimensions ichadu swimming pool lo water untadu manaku telusu so the swimming pool dimensions are given 50 meters long enta podundu anta 50 meters podundi aa swimming pool and 25 meters wide vedal pentundi wide that is 25 meters and it has a depth the swimming pool will be having depth that we can consider as a height of the swimming pool also so the depth of the swimming pool is 3 meters throughout how many liters of water can be does it hold how many meter liters of water it can be hold so swimming pool lo water untundi so a swimming pool yokka dimension ichadu dimension ichadu mari andulo enta water manam poyochu ani cheppesi any liters of water manam use cheyochu a swimming pool ni full cheyadaniki adigadu okay daniki manam value find out chesthe saripothadu the volume of swimming pool we need to find where the length and breadth and height is given height nanti bade depth hi so the length of the swimming pool length of the swimming pool the length of the swimming pool the length of the swimming pool is 50 meters l and the breadth of the swimming pool equal here l value here b value that equal to 25 meters and the wide nothing but a breadth of it. and the depth deep or height the deep of the swimming pool or the height of the swimming pool h equal to that is 3 meters so how many liters of water it can be hold nothing but a, the volume of swimming pool we need to find the volume of swimming pool the swimming pool in the shape of a cuboid you know swimming pool is a to the cuboid so l into b into h formula we can use where l value is 50 meters b value is 25 meters x value is 3 meters so let us multiply so 50 3 is 150 ok uh, meter into meter meter square into 25 meters so meter square into meter meter cube 25 zeros are 0 25 fives are 125 so 5 becomes here 12 is carry 25 uh, ones are 25 plus 12 37 3750 meter cubes the volume of the swimming pool volume of the swimming pool a swimming pool yokka volume entundi 3750 meter cube undi dinni liters lo cheppali endukante enta water poyagalutha ma swimming pool lo ani so here we should must be know that one value that here i write 1 meter cube is give us 1000 liters 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters suppose meer oka gunta thogandi length 1 meter breadth 1 meter depth 1 meter unde laga meter into meter into meter l b h 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter oka gunta thogandi okay dig something on the head and you can pour in that 1000 liters of water so 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters ikkada any meter cubes unnai mari 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters but here 3750 meter cubes are there so each one meter cube will give us 1000 liters this many liters so simply you just do it that multiplication what do you guess liters 37 lakhs 50,000 liters we can hold. Therefore, you need to write that in swimming pool we can hold 37 lakhs 50,000 of 
liters of a water liters of a water we can hold it in the swimming pool i hope you understood meek andariki artham ayind anukuntaru oka sari practice cheyandi ivanni normal ga meek anni cube and cube and pine unnai questions only rendu questions mathre vachchayi okati prism pane inkoti pyramid pane adi kuda volume no find out cheyalanu so whatever the volume formula we know area of the base into height so volume of pyramid formula 1 by 3 into area of base into height this formula you need to remember so that happily you can do this exercise 10 point i hope you understood thank you for watching this thank you all bye